Good morning, man. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm in the house because this is where the Wi-Fi is. I'm leaving my phone in here, but I thought I'd do an intro. It's early. It's like 7 in the morning. Looking beautiful outside. I'm going to do yoga. Then I'm going to cut the grass and hopefully the video is uploaded. All right, YouTube. This is a mess. So I have to clean all this up real quick. And then... We can get we got Chico to look at him, y'all. Ho, 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 my gosh. So excited to see my boy out getting some warm weather. Man, man, this is awesome. Don't get better than that. All right, everybody. So, now that Monster is no longer in here, this is actually a pretty decent enclosure. I'm just going to cut from here. So this can all be wire fence. Cut some on the side and put wire fence on the back so that these guys feel secure, but also we can get some sunlight in there, see them a little better, you know? Anissa wanted me to do that a while ago, but. <laughs> um, yeah, we finally getting around to it, so let's do it. All right, guys, just ate breakfast. Anissa made it, but look at this. I cut a lot of the yard, y'all. Still got a lot to go, but. All of this side is really good. I just gotta go back there, cut a lot. I also cleaned up a lot in the green. Oh yeah, gotta get some of that up too. They're going to the red foots. Both of them actually. Um, but yeah, I was cleaning up in the greenhouse. This is a garbage bag, the ladder. And then I started working. So we got all these out. Where's Chico? Oh, look at him, y'all, he's digging. What's up, big dude? Um, yeah, so we're gonna build two more of these here to there. Um, but I was also working on this. So I put fence on the front, back, and over there I cut a vent out. I cut a whole lot of here and out the back. And yeah, the albino iguanas are gonna go in this big, big cage. I'm gonna put sticks and stuff in here for them to be able to climb on. And that's gonna go right up here perfectly. Here's Monster, the rhino iguana. <clears throat> How cool is she looking? What's up, girl? Cool. I was looking at the greenhouse and literally just six days ago, guys, this wasn't in here, that wasn't in here, and this was in here. Six days ago, this whole greenhouse was empty. Yo, check this out. The wasp got me good. All right, y'all, there it goes. Ooh, -wee. I think the albino iguanas are gonna love this. So I gotta give more branches for them to climb on and then we can put them in there. Look at her looking good. Yeah, Alrighty guys, so I think I need to add more light because I forgot that was covered up. But it's a good thing I added that. And this is pretty good. So, 
They got all of this. And they got up that over there. So this is a lot of space for them. I'll show you guys them in just a second. Let's go get them. Uh, excuse me. Okay. These guys are not being very cooperative. So let's just do what we gotta do. And put them in there and close it. Alrighty, honestly, the albino green iguanas are some of my favorite animals that we have out here. We'll put one in here and one over there. And then I'm gonna go get something because those guys are dirty from their old and clothes. Alrighty, man, what do y'all think about our albino iguanas? in their new huge enclosure. Now, I wanna get one of those tubs when we go to town today and put it in here so they can have a huge water. But man, pretty cool enclosure. I'm gonna go around and feed them and feed all the reptiles real quick. Okay, Ooh, I'm sweaty. This is all good. I gotta take the tools back. But guys, check this out. We got a monster climbing up her enclosure. The albino iguana's hanging out. <laughs> Chico, chilling like a motherfucking villain. You stretching out? And look at cuddles. Now, I made this into a hide box, but I'm gonna close this and leave like an opening at the top. Or maybe this, probably the top so she can go in and out of. But man, is that cool. Look at Chico, he's been roaming. Uh, oh man, he's coming up. Now, this is a dangerous lizard right here. Whew. What's up, big dude? I don't have no food for you yet. This is cool too. When I catch her up there, or Chico up on his. Man, guys, zoo dreams coming true. Oh yeah, there go the baby albinos. Can't wait for them to start getting big like her. And for her to start getting big like him. Look at this crazy Tegu. Chico! He's so long. All that work's starting to pay off, man. It really is. And I love all the haters in the comments. Y'all keep hating, man. I added cutters that high box I showed you already. Oh, man, it's coming along. Let me clean up so we can go to town real quick. Get back to paradise and keep working on the paradise. Go and update. Alrighty. That's a hard work going on. Yes, sir. We got one, two more of those to build right here. We got cuddles up there. She got this whole big enclosure. And over here, we got a boa constrictor. She's down there in the corner. Up there, we got Bubba. We got the big snake in this big old biggest enclosure in the greenhouse. And then we got, where's she at? Oh, there she go. No, I stay the rhino iguana. And our two albino iguana pairs. YouTube, we got cuddles to eat. The boa constrictor is shedding, as I told y'all, so she didn't want to in food mode, but she ate one of the Cornish rocks. I'm gonna go inside and make her and the boa constrictor a nice, cool hide box. But since we're raising our own chicks and chickens, we get to do that. Let's go get one to Chico. <laughs> Chico, come on. He gonna come out. Come on, boy. Well, I know where to really get him to come out. Oh, snap. Oh, all righty.
<laughs> oh, ain't that for you. Mm hmm. I had a little more in there, but man, 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 the rain got in. I gotta seal up that back part. These guys are looking great, though. Using her high box, that's pretty cool. Okay, this is pretty cool to watch. Cuddles doesn't really know what to do. This is our first chick. She's used to eating rodents, rats, and stuff, so. She's had a guinea pig before. It was small, small, but never a chick. I wonder how she'll do that. Open the butt first, or find the head, because how she struck, she struck at the leg and then just choked the chick to death. We'll see. All right, y'all, so what we got going on first, let's check on Cuddles and that chick. It's gone, it's in her belly. Yep, that's a great sign, no enclosure, she's eating. Trying to put a cool lid on this and she'll be able to climb in and out and then put a tub down there and a water bowl over there. Might put the water bowl over there so she can hang over the water. We'll see. For now, I gotta go grab the hose. The hose down some of these boards that I'm gonna use for um, the last few enclosures over here. So let's do that. And I'm hoping by the end of the day, we'll at least have, ooh. Some of the framing done, if not all of it. Man, guys, I'm really loving how it's all turning out. And it's really been a lot of consistent hard work. Like I told y'all in one of the first videos down here, I did all that work back at the apartment and like coming up to the apartment, building up to that, just to come down here and be at back to phase one. 10,000 hours to put in. And that's what we've been doing. Not literally tens of thousands yet. Still got years and years and years and years to go. But uh, this is literally just a month and a, f a month and a week, so uh, I'm just trying to get my animals secured first, and then we'll start doing all the cool stuff. So thank y'all for watching. I really appreciate it. Also, I uh, appreciate y'all being patient with me. Uh, the Wi-Fi sucks here, and literally, if my phone's not in the back room at nighttime uh, uploading, that's what I learned last night. If it's not in the back room uploading, it won't upload. So. Got y'all tonight, two videos coming, and I'm gonna start doing two videos a day. I've been doing one video, two shorts, so I'm trying to step it up a little more. Appreciate y'all, love y'all. Let's get it, man. Time lapse time. I was, yeah, I talked to him, but. All right, and you too. <laughs> I had to let my phone charge right when I started the time lapse, it died. But I got a lot of work done, like a lot. Let me show you. Huh. We got the black and white tegus and the rhinoceros iguanas pins up. I got to fence the floors, the backs, the walls, and then make tops. But we got a lot of progress done. And now I can record the rest of the process. This is where the male will be and monster will be in here. If they do good together, I'm going to leave them in there. We but, might have to separate them. We might not be able to keep them with each other. They're going to have to be used to each other. I'm just so happy, man. All right, so I got two rows besides the metal row that we got left. I'm going to see if we can do a wall. And then we'll do the outside with the black and green rows. If not, uh, I'm pretty sure we have seven feet. So we'll do a wall. Try to do two walls of that. I'm going up the top, and then I'll show y'all from there. All right, I added that frame right there. Now let's get it.
YouTube, just like all the the retic and Chico's enclosure. Once we add the two pieces of wood right here, this will be perfectly flat. And then we'll just have to roof this. Uh, make sure we do the bottom. Do that side. Do that whole back. And roof this. And do then we got to put dirt in and then decorate them. But, yes, sir, man. Whew, I'm exhausted. A hard day at work. Mm -hmm. Wait to put the tegus in here. They're gonna love it. And the rhino iguanas in here. Big snake enclosures are up. Albino iguanas are up and looking good. Monsters looking good. Man, you can probably tell in my voice how tired I am. I've been trying to push myself to just keep working for the past two hours. Cause I wanted to get that wood up on the sides, which we got done to separate the pins and closures. And then I wanted to get that fence up in the middle. So got all that done. I can take a rest tonight. Saying I completed everything on my list. <sighs> Let's go check on the red foots. They eat grass too, but I like to just drop this out and they'll definitely come kill it. Give them a whole bag. Also give them, oh, here we go, y'all, I'm tired. Lettuce, kale, strawberry, banana. All that good stuff. We had the peach tree. Peach tree actually stopped growing back there. Uh, well, it stopped producing peaches. And then, guys, you can tell I'm tired. Uh, that's enough building for today. Anything else I do will be vlog work. Time to cook. Oh, yeah. Red tegu in here. Then we're going to put the uh, black and white tegus in there. Put the big iguanas in there. We got the little baby iguanas in there. Got it. I know it's going out there, she's going right there. There got a big snake, and then the other two snakes in here. 